Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. Uh, this week has been a little bit different. Uh, there's been a lot of rain, uh, so we've been trying to get done as much as we can for you. Lots of different jobs. Yeah, we found different jobs um, that we can do in the rain. Um, it's been fantastic having a catamaran because it's like a little bit of a workshop underneath. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we've been doing what we can with the weather we've got. Yeah, so it's been a little bit slower, so that's why you may have noticed there was no Wednesday bonus episode this week, and that was strictly because the weather wasn't that great and we weren't able to achieve as much as we wanted to. So stay tuned for next Wednesday as well. <laughs> Cheers guys. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Erica and this is my fiance Dave. We are living aboard our new to us hurricane damaged catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. Morning guys. So I thought for a bit of fun, what I'm gonna do, you know the hatches that we just took out, um, I still haven't managed to get this handle off because I don't want to strip the bolt on the top and it's so seized, I can't get any lubrication or inside. So what I've decided to do, to have a bit of fun, I wanted to find out how bad is the glue on these windows? Why did they keep falling out? So let's have a little go and see if we can pop this out. I haven't cut anything, I haven't broken anything, as you can see. Everything is all just as it came out the factory. So let's have a little go. Let's, uh, I'll grab a hammer and we'll see if we can get it out. Oh dear. Oh dearie me, how easy was it to get that out? That's unreal. I'm not surprised I had to recall it and I'm not surprised a couple of boats sank. I hope they bought a new boat. Anyway, gives me a chance here. I can split the perspex, see if I can get some spray on the inside. But, oh dear, I mean, that was terrible. They used, definitely used the wrong glue. There we have it. We've got the part out. Maybe I can get some penetration lubrication in there and uh, see if we can get this thing apart. Okay guys, time to fix and repair the other rudder. The one I used to make the mold with is the one I'm gonna actually repair. It doesn't look too bad. This is the worst side of it. So I'm gonna cut this area back and cut this area back. The opposite side, oh no, flip it, it's quite heavy. But the other side is actually a lot less. So if I cut from the worst side, that's gonna give me the opportunity to dig out the crap and rebuild it. So I think we're gonna get the grinder on it. Um, I think I'm gonna to have to borrow a Dremel from somewhere because there's some shallow cracking I don't like around here. But I don't wanna cut that all back. As you can see, there's no blackening in the area like the other one. Um, this that you might be able to just pick up here is actually just writing from the factory for some reason. A one, looks like a one upside down, some scribbles, a four, five, zero. So it's just something from the factory. So we're gonna definitely be able to re repair this, especially if I can borrow a Dremel from a friend, and we'll cut these bits in. And uh, I'm gonna repair this with epoxy, not polyester. It's a polyester rudder, but I'm gonna use epoxy, and I'm gonna reskin the rudder with a couple of layers as well. So let's get the grinder out again, and uh, get cracking. Alrighty, so the grinding is done. This is the back corner here, got rid of all the blackness, gone back to decent filler. Same here, I actually went through the shell very, very slightly, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. I'm gonna do an epoxy, um, thickened epoxy, a 
what do you call it, adhesive filler in there first, and then start laying glass on the top. I did it on both sides, and also here around the stem. I'm actually super lucky, thanks um, Daniel, my friends to lend me this Dremel, and to be honest, it's the best Dremel I've ever used, and it's actually the rechargeable one. Um, had a, that's been very successful to get around the stock here, and all the blackening is gone. So that's fantastic. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, then I'm gonna go mix up some epoxy and uh, start to do the repair. Okay guys, so I've got everything prepared here now. Done the grinding on the rudder itself. Grounded out all the, the bad areas. It's nice and clean, all back to good glass. Um, I've also done the front edge along here. I've just cut in there. There was a very small crack, so I'm gonna put the fairing filler in there. The fillers that we're gonna be using today is the 406 adhesive filler. Uh, I'm gonna be using the West System epoxy as well. It's really important to make sure everything is nice and clean. You've acetone washed everything and you've got everything ready. So make sure you've got your spreaders, your paintbrushes, your gloves, your resin, everything. You don't wanna be fighting for stuff or finding stuff when, you know, when you're halfway through a job. So I've got everything laid out here on the table. I think I'm gonna start with this smaller area first to see how things go. It's a slightly bigger area, so it might need two applications to actually build it up enough. And then we'll work on some of the other bits. So let's give it a go. Okay, so that's the first layer on. Starting to cure, I've done the front edge. I've done a little bit in here around where the stock is. Um, it's kind of awkward to get to, but I've got the deepest crevices. So I'm gonna come back. Everything is lower than its final position is gonna be, but this is just the first layer. So I'm gonna leave this for a couple of hours to cure, come back and see how she looks. Okay, so it has cured, it's gone off. I think it cured a little bit too quickly for my likening, but it's actually gone very nice and hard and solid. So I'm actually happy with it. But what I've decided to do is go over to the, um, the slow hardener, the 206 slow hardener. Um, and I've also now waited to evening time, so the temperature has dropped slightly. So I'm gonna, I've done a light sanding, an acetone clean. I'm gonna mix up some now with the slow resin um, and leave it to harden overnight. Alrighty guys, so this is basic day two. Um, got some filler in here. This one I've built up enough that I like now. I can start laying some glass in there. I want to build this area up slightly more. But another thing I noticed, so after I was just sanding it and cleaning it ready for day two, um, some of the fairing filler that I put across it, when I sanded it, it didn't seem to adhere very well. Um, so that could have been cross-contamination. Remember I used it as a mold, thought I'd cleaned it well enough. So I've just given it another clean, and what I've decided to do now is what's called a peel test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little piece of uh, biaxial. I'm going to cover it with uh, epoxy resin, but I'm going to leave one end sticking up, something like this. Okay, so once this is all dried, then what we can do is we can get hold of, get a pair of pliers or whatever and try and try and pull it off, just to check the adhesion. So I'll make sure when I re-skin this, I want to be 100% sure that it has definitely taken to the rudder. So that's going to be our first thing, and then I'll build up a little bit more filler here, a little bit more around the rudder stock, and then hopefully, if this peel test works, tomorrow we'll be able to uh, recoat this thing. Perfecto. So here you can see I built up a little bit more adhesive filler here, here, and here. Everything's looking good now. So pretty much after a little bit of light sanding after that, I'm gonna start adding glass to them. Before I do that, I'm gonna let everything dry for a sand back. And also I'm gonna do this peel test to see I've stuck it down, leaving the end sticking up so I can grab hold of it with some pliers just to make sure it's gonna to adhere to the layer underneath it. Let's come back to it tomorrow. What's happening, babe? What's happening? What's happening is we, the fresh water pump just stopped working while I was, you know, attempting to do the washing up again. And, uh, <laughs> only joking. Uh, no, it's just suddenly stopped. So I need to investigate it. It's got power, power from the board, power to the pump, just nothing. And it's not even that old, so what, seven months old? So I'm gonna take it out and bench test it, see what we can find out. Hi. 
haven't been in the engine hatch for a while, have you, babe? Is that towel been down there for? No, no, no. I just put this from over there. Delay on. Can you find me a pair of clippers? I've got to cut a cable tight. Okay. The off valves for the uh, two water tanks are so deep and they have to get all the way in to turn it off. It's a good thing you're only little. Yeah. I think you can get from the side, but then you have to get screwdrivers out and take off the panels and all yeah. sorts of stuff. Which is just stupid. You can do it, babe. You're doing it on top of all the <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. such a stupid idea. <laughs> so stupid. All right, now I can go take the pump off. <laughs> so what do you think, babe? I'm not sure yet. Just gonna have a little look and see if this spring, the on off with the pressure stretch is actually going. We can test that first. Before we start taking anything else apart. Okay. That's not going well. Not working? I'm not sure. bench anyway so it, may, it might just be the pressure switch with this spring part so we'll put it back together and see what happens seems all right in a minute what do you have to do now yeah. turn the water back on so we can test it which means going back in this hole again <laughs> Have it gets fun. really dark when you're in there because it blocks all the light. <laughs> Are you scared of the dark, babe? Nope, I just want to know what happens. Oh, that was easier that time. Taking one arm out first. All right, let's take it away. Do you have to open the other one? No. There's one. Yeah. Oh, that's right, there's two. Up. Get in there, babe. <laughs> I mean, I would do it, but should I do it? You want to go for it? <laughs> yeah, this would be more fun. <laughs> that's a good view for you, lads. Where is it? You see the red handle? No. All the way at the back? No. <laughs> That's all right. Our, our male um, viewers are enjoying this. Wait, I don't even see the handle. It's all the way at the back, connected to the hose, which comes out of the tank. Okay, which way do I turn it? It only goes one way. But it's so dark. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, get out. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Did he get stuck? Oh, that one's slightly bigger than this one. That one's slightly. That's not fun. Right. What's up, Foxy? Right, Foxy. Okay, so it's the next day, approximately 24 hours since I put the last layer of filler in here, touched up this area, touched up a rack around the stock. Everything's looking pretty good. And if you remember, we did, we're doing the pull test. So this is the bit that I actually want to film to. Uh, so let's see, does it really adhere good? Now I've given it a good clean surface. So let's clip the camera on for a second. Get a pair of pliers. It has only been 24 hours. I can't pull any harder. And that stays on. Fantastic. All right, so that means it's going to work. Why is the generator all the way over there? Because I wanted to 
made it last night. Can I make coffee? Uh, yeah, pass me the kettle, I'll boil it down here. I've got power on the table that are strong enough. Okay. Don't get any dust in it, okay? No, I won't. I won't grind until it's boiled. Just plug it in now. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode guys. Uh, we just want to do a massive shout out as always to our patrons. Thank you so so much for all of your love and support. And everybody else that's also donating via the other methods. Um, everyone that's looking after us and there's lots of you so thank you very very much. And also happy, happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving. <laughs> Cheers guys, see you next Wednesday. <laughs>